I'm going to share quickly a very quick vision. Um, I believe that's what it was when I was in an airplane um, coming back from a, a birthday weekend in just September. Uh, we were on an airplane uh, coming into Denver. This is real life now. <laughs> we're coming into Denver. And um, I just closed my eyes and I started praying on the, on the airplane um, maybe 10 minutes before we landed. And I just felt like the presence of God come so strongly around me. I just like knew he was there and I, I was just like looking for him because he felt like right there. It was just like a physical presence. It was, it was crazy. And so I was just closing my eyes and I was praying and I saw like a picture and there was like a, there was like a meter, but then there was like a lever and the lever on the top was like, it was a skinny lever shaped like this. And it had red, like that plastic red handle. Um, and I saw the lever and the handle was about like this. So maybe like a quarter of the way on. And then I saw a hand grab the lever and just crank it all the way. Just, uh, and I remember it was like hard for the hand to like get it cranked all the way over. And I was just like, oh my goodness, what is that? You know, I don't know what's going on. So we're literally landing. And I turned to my husband, I'm like, what's a handle that's shaped like this and it has like red plastic on it, you know, like you see it different places. I don't know where I've ever seen this, but like it has a red kind of coating on it and you, I don't know, like I, I knew the shape and everything. I don't know where I'd seen it from. And he was just like, I don't know. It's probably like a lever to like release gas or what? I don't know. You know, I was just kind of like, oh, okay. And he's like, where did you see this? And I was like, in my mind, like it was, it was, a vision and he was just kind of like all right he's like hopefully you know so I so we got off the plane I got internet access and I tried to figure out what this lever was that I know I've seen so it's actually a water ball valve um, so it's to a water line essentially and you can turn it on and you can turn it off and it does turn like this and so um, usually in the Bible the water is like the Spirit of God um, and I just saw like it was partially on and then it was like a hand and it just cranked it and it just like symbolized to me like God just turned on the water like he just poured out his spirit um, on the earth and like I've never had more encounters with him than I've had like the last six months who's just like God speaking to me and I'm setting aside time to meet with him every day and he's talking he's showing up and he's showing me things and so I just want to encourage you that like the spirit of the Lord has been poured out in like a major way. And I think that we're going to see it more and more. And like the people of God, I, you know, I have friends who are just like, man, I just like, I can't get enough of the Holy spirit right now. I can't get enough of like what he's showing me and the time spent with Jesus, like in devotion and prayer and meditation time. So um, I want to encourage you to do that. But I also want you to know that like God is, he's, he turned it on. He turned the water on, like, just like he said, he's going to do in the end times. He's going to pour out his spirit on all man, man, mankind, like the young and the old are going to have visions and dreams. And, um, I think that the Lord just like full throttle, just turned it on. I told my husband that and he, he's kind of just a, a silly heart sometimes. And he said, well, I hope when we get home, I said, it's a water, it's a water ball valve that, that I saw get cranked. And he's like, well, hopefully when we get home, our basement's not flooded <laughs> and it's not that, but we are being flooded with the spirit. So stay in the word and stay in prayer.